Karen Jones calls herself a passionate early year educator. She is now a principal at one of the most progressive early year schools in Thailand. She has over 30 years of experience in early year education, but when she was first trained, it was more traditional. When I first trained, we were trained very much just to look at set outcomes for children and the environment was important but it wasn't seen as a significant learning tool. Nowadays we see that the environment where we work, where we live has a huge impact on our well-being and also our ability to learn and so this plays a huge part in training younger teachers when working with children to really respect the environment that they are introducing to the children and how that has an impact on them for their learning. Karen has been working at the Raintree International School since it opened. But this is not the first time she's been in Thailand. She was here in the 80s and she fell in love with the culture, specifically the bright and open Buddhist temples. For her, it represents the inner being and spirit of the people. The thing that inspired me was um, the temples. Because I come from a culture where our churches, which are supposed to represent our spirit, our inner being, are very strong, solid, but dark, quite dark. And when I came here, I saw temples that were open, that were just beautiful mirrors and light and uh, colors like I've never seen before. And I just thought, if that's how people want to express their inner being and really make something like bright, shiny, beautiful, that sometimes takes your breath away, then I thought, I want to get to know more about this culture. Karen said the most challenging thing for her working as a principal at the Progressive School is how she can enable teachers to find a gift in every child. She said if the teacher can recognize that, then the teacher will form strong bonds with the children and be able to guide them gently to their next step. The most challenging thing in Thailand, however, is how to understand the different cultures and different expectations of parents from country to country be it Thailand, the UK, New Zealand, or Australia. So you've got to look at the uniqueness that the Thai culture brings, and then to make that uh, relationship and to um, ensure that parents begin to trust you. It's, it's the hardest thing for a parent to bring their child into a school, and to hand them over to us and entrust us. So I think that's the biggest challenge. More than four years after the school opened, Karen believes Raintree is going in the direction of growing a Raintree community. But being a progressive school, sometimes things differ from parents' expectations of something more tangible or scientific and numeric-based results. Karen is, however, sure that a progressive school can definitely deliver what is necessary for the children to grow and the parents will get to see that for themselves. Sometimes the proof is in the pudding when they're here and they see how much their children are learning and growing, that's, that serves its purpose. But for those that are not here, if you come and you walk around and you see that all the children are highly motivated, all involved, and um, being able to communicate, socialize, be able to talk about what they're learning, then it speaks for itself in that sense. It's not just a small amount of knowledge. We're getting them to use their critical thinking, we're getting them to be able to learn all the skills of how to be a learner as well. Good early years education enables children to make choices and become responsible for their choices. 
they learn that their decision is important for them. So how does she evaluate herself? Whether what she is doing is actually going in the right direction. Karen said it's the feedback she gets from the teachers. Many of them were working in a more traditional environment, much closed, and they need to learn something different at Rain Tree. And Karen said these teachers would never want to go back to the traditional way of teaching again. The comment from every single teacher that has worked at Rain Tree has been, I have learned so much about me as a teacher. I have learned so much about the children that I work with. Never before have I ever known how the, the, the extent that I know about the children in my class. And this has enabled me to ensure that they are getting the steps that they need. They also say, having worked this way, they would never want to go back to um, a curriculum that was only looking at the outcome. They see that actually it limited them as a teacher. Having that particular set outcome made them miss some of the other amazing things that children were thinking and learning and being able to take the children further than they'd ever thought possible.